Hey, what's up everybody? Eternal Fire here coming to you live from the PTR in preparation for patch 7.1.5. Now I want to make this video because of out of all the classes and specs I play, I think the Prot Warrior is going to be changing the most. Now just as a uh, spoiler, I think the Prot Warrior is going to end up being fine. I know a lot of people are really upset about you know, the certain things are taken away, but I'm going to try and explain what I think they were trying to do by what the PTR shows so far. Now, granted, this is my opinion and nothing on the PTR is guaranteed to go live in patch 7.1.5, but some of these changes are significant. So I wanted to cover it now. Uh, looking at the talents first, you're going to see that ultimatum is removed and we have best served cold which is uh, the ability has been changed. Revenge now deals 5% more damage per target hit, up to 5. Um, and that's now in the 45 tier where Ultimatum used to be and where Best Surf Cold used to be in the 75 tier, you now have an ability, a talent called Devastator. It replaces Devastate and makes your auto attacks deal more damage. And every time you auto attack, you generate 5 rage. And every time you auto attack, auto attack you have a 30% chance to reset the remaining cooldown on Shield Slam. So basically, instead of having to sit there and just spam devastate praying for you know that 30 percent proc to reset the cooldown on shield slam you're just going to do it passively now um so you know that's actually it's not really a you know it's, it's a great talent the only kicker is that you sacrifice indomitable for devastator so um indomitable you know you're going to basically be basically be losing 25% max health and 25% to your uh, maximum effect to your ignore pain. So it's pretty big sacrifice in your overall HP, but Devastator is really a great talent to take. Um, I've tested how much damage I do and how much rage I generate on live and on the PTR with the Indomitable talent and the Devastator talent. And I can say right now, as it stands as of I think it's December 3rd December 3rd um, the Devastator build does more damage than the Indomitable build with uh, Ultimatum and Vengeance on live and I generate like almost double the amount of rage with the Devastator uh, talent and then it just trumps as far as survivability goes, it trumps taking Indomitable because you just generate so much more rage, you have Ignore Pain up a lot. I found um, with Indomitable taken, I was severely uh, rage starved, where with Devastator, I almost always had enough rage to you know proc with Vengeance. So the way Vengeance has changed is Ignore Pain reduces the rage cost of your next revenge now, Focused Rage is removed from the from the Prot Warrior. Um, so Ignore Pain reduces your next Revenge by 35% and vice versa. Um, so basically instead of alternating between Focus Rage and Ignore Pain, you're now going to be alternating between Revenge and Ignore Pain. So it's, it's essentially the same idea, it's just different abilities. And also Revenge costs 30 Rage. So as far as, you know, your you know, 90 tier, I think that Vengeance is going to still remain essential. Um, you know, you're basically going to be getting your Ignore Pains for uh, much less and your Revenges for much less as well. Um, but here's another interesting thing they changed with Shield Slam. Uh, Shield Slam still hits the target causing physical damage and it generates 20 Rage, but Devastate or Devastator being your auto attacks. So let's say uh, if you take Devastator, Auto Attack, Thunderclap, and Revenge have a 30% 30, 30 chance to reset the cooldown of Shield Slam. So what does that mean? It means that whenever you Auto Attack, whenever you use Revenge, and whenever you use Thunderclap, uh, you're going to have a 30% chance to proc, um, proc Shield Slam. So, you know you have a much greater chance of proccing Shield Slam now in, you know, on the PTR at 7.1.5 versus what's live in 7.1. So, you know, I've, I've tested this and played with it um, 
for a few hours and I have to say that it just feels really nice getting that many shield slam procs. Sometimes I'll have shield slam, you know, it procs, I use it and then it procs immediately after, which is really nice. So basically you're just going to be alternating between ignore pain and revenge. And uh, again, revenge costs 30 rage and how this works now is your successful dodges and parries cause your next revenge to become free. So that in my opinion kind of buffers, um, that buffers what ultimatum used to be where when you got a shield slam crit you uh would get a free focus rage right if you took the ultimatum talent but now instead of using ultimatum and having to use focus rage uh because you get that free focus rage and then that essentially you don't spend any rage and you just get you know a reduced ignore pain which is the goal you want cheaper ignore pains for the maximum effect um so now whenever you dodge your parry with your revenge, the next revenge becomes free, and then basically that makes it so you have a free vengeance on your next ignore pain. So they kind of took what Focus Rage did and just built it into these abilities here. So when you take Devastator, you really only have uh, three buttons to press other than talents. You know, you have your Shockwave and your Neltherian's Fury, which is, I really only use it on, on Trash. Um, but it's pretty bad. So, you know, you're going to have basically three buttons, shield block up all the time, so four if you want to count, count that. But everything is built into these now. So Thunderclap also generates five rage. Uh, a couple days ago, it was only three rage, but they buffed it by five. So that's kind of nice. You know, that's that's moving in, the, in a positive direction. Um, so, you know, Revenge has become a rage spender uh, instead of a rage generator, and Thunderclap has replaced revenge and being a rage generator um, but here's the thing in 7.1 it really did not work because it was more beneficial to spam devastate waiting for a shield slam proc because you got 20 rage than wasting a global cooldown on a revenge which didn't even really do too much damage um, when you could just hit devastate again with a chance of getting a 30 percent proc to reset the cooldown on your shield slam but the way this works now is you can effectively have shield slam and revenge on cooldown and then use a thunderclap which the damage of thunderclap has been greatly buffed and it generates five rage so there are appropriate times when it would make sense to use thunderclap even in a single target situation if shield slam and revenge are both on cooldown another thing to keep in mind is revenge is now a three second cooldown or uh, less than that based on your haste as you can see right here my uh, revenge is two point second uh, two point six second cooldown and then um, so you know it's it's a I think it was nine on live, so in 7.1. So you know they reduced the cooldown of revenge greatly. Um, this is going to overall increase um, DPS on AOE by a lot for prot warriors. And on single target, I really don't feel like um, it's it's going to be that big of a deal. I mean, if you have an opportunity to get on PTR. Um, I moved over my SCADA and my LVY to the PTR just so I could, you know, test it out more comfortably how I like to play. Um, and I just generated a lot of rage and, you know, granted, I wish I had the legendary gloves and uh, bracers for the Prot Warrior, but I have neither of those. Uh, that would also, you know, help survivability also, but... I just found the Devastator talent helped me survive a lot longer than Indomitable just because of the... Uh, I did a lot more damage and I survived a lot longer and you know that's pretty much how I know how to explain it um, I have it written down here devastator I wrote down I live to three minutes every time and indomitable I, I barely made it to two minutes um, on any of my attempts I did a lot more damage on devastator so that's pretty much what I have on what's going on right now uh, I hope you guys found this video informational helpful perhaps um if you liked it leave a like comment and subscribe thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one